Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today in Legends Rewritten, I'm going to be showing off all of the new bosses, new gear, new mount, and the new observation hockey move that was just added to the game this last Friday. But of course, we're going to start with the brand new code. So if you enter in the code 70KLRWLIKES, you will get 10 new blessing rolls. It says expire just because I've already used the code earlier today. Anyways, let's start with the observation hockey move that was just added to the game, and this is also in the Conker's Hockey as well. So what observation does is it basically allows you to see enemies through the map like an x-ray of sorts. It isn't super useful in my opinion. It's mainly just really cool. You can also use this to see other players and from my experience if you use observation it will also show if a mimic chest is a mimic or a regular chest. Anyways to start off this video I want to show off all the new stuff from the winter boss. So unfortunately it is mega mega foggy right now in the map but if you come over here and go to the glacier island right where my mouse cursor is. I know it looks like a bunch of rocks but that is the glacier island if you go over there on the first day of winter at 11 o'clock the i cannot pronounce his name at all but the new dragon boss the higher glacier i think is how you say it boss will be spawned in now what he drops is the ice magic which isn't very useful his main highlight though is going to be the ice chakram so the ice chakram is a level 120 ranged weapon that does a lot of damage it gives 118 damage and it has a fantastic m1 combo as well as v attack it absolutely shreds the Tanzanite mobs. It is very, very ranged, and it somewhat seems to stun them in place if you spam it. Its V attack has like a 7 second cooldown, and it does a lot of damage actually for only about 150 mana cost. So this is definitely a weapon that I highly recommend all you guys go after because it isn't very hard to obtain. The boss fight itself isn't too bad. It's actually a lot of fun. You get teleported to this awesome battle arena that you can only access when the boss himself is spawned in, and it it is a very cool fight he is pretty dang easy for how good of a weapon he drops so good luck farming it but let's show off the other thing he drops so he also drops an egg the egg is known as the higher glacier egg basically what this egg does is give you a brand new mount that is literally just the boss like the new mount is literally just the boss it looks absolutely amazing I haven't leveled it up at all yet so I don't know how the damage is on it but the animations on it look fantastic it is just a very very clean design and if you guys are into collecting all the mounts there is a new one for you guys to find so now let's talk about the chain user so the chain user is the boss that spawns on the second day of spring at three o'clock at the flower village island where i am showing my cursor on that island there and they spawn on the outskirts just circle around the grass like on the outside of the island until you find them and you definitely will anyways the gear he drops, the main highlight is of course going to be the Nen Chains, however, the Nen Chains aren't dropped from him, what he drops are all the parts to craft it. So he drops the Dowsing Pendant, the Judgment Pendant, the Holy Pendant, the Jail Pendant, and then also the Steel Pendant. When you have all five of these pendants, make your way to the Blacksmith, and then find the Magic Weapons section in the Blacksmith area, and then you are going to be able to craft the Nen Chains. So the Nen Chains themselves are one of the best weapons in the game, definitely one of the best mage weapons in the game. They are a lot of fun to use, and they have a four-step attack. The first attack restores some of your mana while hitting a target. The second attack basically binds your target in chains if you get a direct hit. The third attack will pierce the target's heart and deal like no damage, but the attack following that one deals a lot of damage because you basically rip the chain back out of them. And as you guys can see, this thing is absolutely shredding the Tanzanite mobs. And it's also actually pretty effective against bosses as well. I was using it against Law and I was doing a lot of damage with it. So it also actually heals you. If you use its V attack, it is straight up just a heal. So if you are a player that doesn't have mountains of lobsters to eat, I definitely recommend getting the Nen Chains because you can, instead of fishing for days, just use this to heal yourself. And you still do absolutely plenty of damage with this. I would say Yoru does do more damage than this, but it is a very, very close second, if not the second best weapon in the whole game. Anyways, Kropika also drops the Kurta Pants and the Kurta Shirt. Both of these are pretty bad. The Pants, 500 HP, 650 mana. And then the shirt, 600 HP, 725 mana, not very good in my opinion. The boss fight itself isn't very difficult, all you gotta do is find him. I do recommend fighting him with some friends, it'll make it a lot easier, but you can definitely one-on-one -on -one this boss. If you have the Conquered Hockey Blessing, definitely just spam that V attack and you will be just fine. Spam all your magic and you really shouldn't have no problem, because this boss is definitely easier than Law, Rada Knight, and all those guys. He isn't too much of a challenge. Another unique thing about the Nen Chains is they're actually really good at parrying. If you, if you, 
as you guys can see, the E on it is fantastic. I was able to parry really, really easy when using the Nen Chains for fun, so I definitely think you guys should try parrying with it as well. It's kind of cool. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching my video on all of the new updates in Legends we've written this last weekend. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and comment down below any questions you may have, and I will happily answer them if I can. Anyways, guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!